teaching online is more than just taking your classroom materials and putting them online. It's a reconceptualization of how you achieve your learning objectives. Let's take a quick look at 10 common myths that you may have come across while exploring your interest in teaching online. Myth number one, not every subject can be taught online. You may think that not every subject can be taught online, but what we need to focus on is how any subject can be taught online. It's possible to teach math, science, history, art, theater, writing, and engineering online, and for these courses to be taught really well. The key is careful planning in advance to be sure that your course content is engaging, that you design learner-centered activities that promote effective collaboration and interaction, and that you provide efficient and authentic feedback and assessments to help students successfully achieve your learning objectives and master skills and competencies. Yes, even dance can be taught online. Myth number two. Teaching online will take me less time than teaching in the classroom. While it won't take less time, the first time you teach online, it may take a little more time as you get familiar with the technology and figure out how to use the environment most effectively and efficiently. You can't just show up for class in the online space. It's also not recommended that you try to build your plane while you're flying it. Your course should be completely developed and in place before the first day of class. It will take time up front to fully design and develop your online teaching and learning environment, and you'll need to plan and be prepared to regularly interact and nurture that space so that your students can learn, interact, and grow. Remember, time management skills are a core competency for the online instructor. Myth number three. I need to master every tool and technology available in order to teach online. You do not need to know every tool and technology to teach online. That technology is always changing anyway. What you'll need to know is how to perform key operations within the learning management system, like creating content, setting up discussion boards, accessing student assignments, entering grades, communicating with your students, and completing those institutional administrative tasks, like submitting your grades to your department. Myth number four, as an instructor, I do not need to be present at all times in an online course. Online doesn't mean instructorless or self-paced. Just because you don't have to show up to a physical classroom doesn't mean that you don't have to show up in your online class. In fact, the quantity and quality of the interaction with an online instructor is the highest predictor of online student satisfaction and reported learning. Online students need to feel the presence of their instructor, and you can do that with announcements, interaction, comments, and feedback. Teaching online means establishing a virtual teaching presence in that online space. Myth number five. There is no way to really get to know my students in an online class. Research shows that students and faculty actually get to know each other very well in online classes. The key is setting up avenues for interaction with your students and opening up conversation spaces online where students can express who they are and feel confident to share their opinion. You can create avenues to connect with your students within your course, such as designing icebreaking activities, question forums, and class community areas. The key to getting to know your students is to support their voices in discussions and interactions and to provide timely feedback to support their efforts. Myth number six. Labs and other interactive exercises can't be taught online. The online learning environment lends itself to interactive labs and other collaborative exercises, in fact. In many science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and the arts, lab simulations and other online interactive modules are included along with the textbook. Innovations in augmented and virtual reality make it so that we and our students can be immersed in situational and problem-based learning without ever leaving our location. And just because the course is online does not mean the labs or activities have to take place online. There are services that will mail experiment kits to students around the world with everything in it to do the experiment at home for a real hands-on lab experience. Myth number seven. Once I develop an online course, I can use it to teach over and over again. Yes, a lot of work goes into the preparation of an online course, and once you have reconceptualized your teaching materials, interactions, and assessment into the online environment, you may feel like your job is done. You'll learn a lot the first time you teach your course online, and you'll definitely want to keep track of what worked well and what you feel may need some change or improvement in the design and delivery of your course. Keeping notes during your course delivery, asking students for feedback, and regularly reviewing and refreshing your online course and your teaching approaches are good online teaching practices. 
You won't have to start from scratch, but you should build in time for reflection and revision before you start teaching the course online again in the future. Myth number eight. My students can't possibly learn as much in my online courses as they do in my face-to-face -face courses. According to a study done by the U.S. Department of Education, on average, students in online learning conditions performed better academically than those in face-to-face -face courses. Many students select online courses and programs because they want more flexibility and are self-motivated to succeed in the online space. The key is a well-designed and facilitated online course that presents content in an effective and engaging manner, that supports and facilitates online learning interaction and collaboration, and that provides effective and authentic online feedback and assessments. Myth number nine. There is no way to personalize student learning in an online course. Online learning platforms are powerful tools that can provide data on student progress. Analytics that are built into our learning management systems enable us to review learner performance against set criteria and help create personalized pathways based on that performance. In other words, the technology is helping us to better understand what our students are mastering and where they may need more help to guide their learning progress. When you start including online components in your teaching, pay attention to the data and reporting features in your learning management system or online course platform. As the instructor, you'll still need to provide guidance and feedback to keep your students on track, but you now have a few more tools to help you shape that feedback and direct your students. Myth number 10. Teaching online is no different from teaching in the face-to-face -face classroom. You can't duplicate the classroom experience online and vice versa. It's different. It's a different kind of classroom with different options and different limitations than the face-to-face -face environment. And teaching online is more than just taking your classroom materials and putting them up online. The transition from teaching face-to-face -to, -face to online, whether it's web-enhanced, blended, or fully online, requires careful consideration of your pedagogical objectives and how you achieve them with the online content you want to provide to your students, the online interactions you want them to have with that content, with each other, and with you, and the online tools and approaches that you're going to use to assess their learning in that space. There are research-based effective practices and standards that you can use to inform your online course design and delivery that debunk these 10 common myths about teaching online. Open SUNY and or your campus online instructional designer can provide you with the resources you need to transition to teaching online and guide you through the process of creating an effective, efficient, and engaging web-enhanced, blended, or fully online teaching and learning environment. What are some other myths about teaching online? What are some assumptions you have about teaching online? What's the biggest challenge you anticipate you might have teaching your course online? And what's the biggest challenge you anticipate your students might have in your online course? Join us in the Coke community to answer some of those questions and follow up on effective practices for teaching and learning online at Open SUNY.